This video, presented by Secure Ideas, is going to walk you through installing SIGWIN on Windows. SIGWIN is available for free at http colon sigwin.com. SIGWIN provides Unix-like commands and features on Microsoft Windows products. SIGWIN is required for other tools like RAPROXY that we will cover in other videos. We will start by downloading the setup.exe installer from the Install SIGWIN menu option. Once installation begins, we will follow the steps selecting the default options. Select Install from Internet, accept the default root directory, and specify where the local packages will be stored. If you do not use a proxy, select Direct Connection for the Internet Connection type. You can choose any download site you like. I happen to choose the sigwin.cybermirror.org site. The initial package list will download, which will take some time. Select OK on the setup alert if this is your first time installing Sigwin. When the Select Packages screen appears, there's a few packages we're going to need to install. The first category we need to select is the devil category. Once we get into the devil category, we need to scroll down until we identify the GCC core object and then select it. Additionally, we need to scroll down a little bit more until we can find the make package. Once we find the make package, we'll go ahead and select that one as well to make sure it gets installed. And then finally in the devil package is the open SSL devil which is the final one that we want to install here. In addition to these packages, there's one package we need from the libs category. So once we get into the libs category, we want to scroll down and make sure that the OpenSSL-Devil package for the OpenSSL development runtime is going to be installed for us. If it's not already selected, select that package and then continue forward with the installation. If the Resolving Dependencies window appears, just click Next to complete the process. Finally, we are ready to start downloading the packages. This can take quite a while, so grab a drink and relax for a bit. Select the icon options and complete the installation. Finally, we need to add SIGWIN to our system path so Windows knows where to find it. This is done through the System Properties Environment Variables window. Locate the path variable and edit it. Look at the end of the variable value and add location you selected during the installation process. In my case, it is semicolon c colon backslash sigwin slash bin. That completes the installation of sigwin. Thank you for attending this Secure Ideas tutorial.